So this is a setup video for how to set up a uh, camera system here containing two Wi-Fi cameras with one camera connected to the NVR by Wi-Fi. CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. Here's a site diagram. So NVR connects with wire to AP1 and Cam1 is Wi-Fi connected to cam the NVR. AP2, it can be connected by wire or by Wi-Fi to CAM2. We configured it both. I'll show you in a second. AP2 then transmits back to AP1. So what we've got here is the NVR on the left-hand side, LAN cable coming out of the LAN port into the LAN connection on the PoE injector and the PoE cable from the PoE injector going into AP1. The access point is labeled as, as AP1 is labeled as access point one. Plugs in here. The black cable goes into PoE of the, it's called a power injector that also plugs into 110. So here's how you have that. On the other side, the other radio, which is called access point two, it's labeled on the side, wire coming out of that. Similarly, going into the PoE port of the PoE injector, plugs to 110. Those fires that up. When you have a working connection between the two radios, you'll see this green meter that tells you how strong the signal is. They're supposed to be oriented this way. This is the front of each other facing. Try not to mount it in opposite directions. Sometimes it even works when you mount it in opposite directions. For weatherproofing, you need to weatherproof the PoE injector, the connection to 110, and this portion here, and that portion over there. This comes with a little um, cover where you can run through this little notch, your ethernet cable, and protect it from the elements. You may wanna put some silicone on it, or some tape on it to keep water from entering in accidentally. Now the cameras, cam one, all you need to do is turn it on, connect the antenna on it, connect the power supply, which has a 10 foot cord, connect that power adapter to your power outlet. This needs to be protected from the weather elements, this connection as well, and the PPL as well. That's why we recommend getting junction boxes. Here, same thing, camera connected to power supply, that's all. Now, we did pair this camera to work with Wi-Fi with that radio, so you don't have to worry about connecting this cable. But if for some reason you're having lag, what you can do is connect this cable into there, into the LAN side, okay? And that will allow the camera to talk through the radio and use that radio's Wi-Fi. If you do that, you do have to make a certain change on the NVR as to which IP address it's using to connect. So when we ship this system, we already pre-configure all the cameras are added. So all you need to do is just turn this thing on. Um, if I go in here, I can show you that the two cameras are added in the registration screen. This camera one has this IP address at 22.1.1, means it's connected to the internal switch inside this NVR. And the 192.168.1.110 is connected externally through the radios. So the LAN port has the 192.168.1.110 IP address scheme. That's how those two are different. So there's an internal network that's Wi-Fi and a LAN network that connects to the access point and the camera that's outside. We've enabled the microphone. So for example, if I click on here, you can hear me with audio coming through. That's pretty much set up. The NVR, the back of it in case you're not familiar with it. I'm gonna briefly go over through those. Power connection for the NVR. There's a power supply that comes with it. Ethernet cable from here goes to, again, the LAN on the PoE injector. HDMI connection. Please connect the HDMI cable to your TV before you power on the NVR. USB mouse comes with it to control the menu system. And once you have a compatible monitor, you'll be able to see video like here, and it's pretty fluid video with audio. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.